people don't have any dresses, tank tops, wigs. Plenty of reasons why. Plenty of reasons, but I think the biggest reason that women don't realize they want to work their butt, they want to work their abs, they don't realize that when you have a nice broad shoulder and a wider back, it makes your waist look smaller. Yeah, that's right. It does. Shoulder pads, I know we don't wear them anymore, but they're well, like leaner too because it cuts yeah. the bones here. Yeah, it it's does. The little bra fat. So you want that kind of little angle and a little bit of width at the top, and that's where the back comes in. And you love it when someone comes up and goes, and then you flex. Aww. No, we don't have to flex. Your back is so strong. Thanks. I just break the end workout. Right. Okay. And learn it all from Shred and Right here. Roll. So we're going to use a band today. These are super cheap. You can get a pack of three at Target for like $12. I would highly recommend buying it. We will be using more of these. You will see them again. You'll be glad you purchased them. Yep. You're going to want to go right travel off with, with us them. with our band yep. workouts. And you can travel with them. So we're going to start off with lats. Lats are the great big muscles, largest muscles in your upper body that run down the sides of your back. They're the ones in swimmers where you whoo, flex and they go whoo, and they make those wings. Those are your lats. That's what we're working. So we're going to take our band. We're going to wrap it up to a width. You never want to have slack at the top of the band, but you're going to want to be able to pull it all the way down. So if you can't do this and it's too tight, you need to unwrap it a little bit. You can do adjust it to your own liking. Watch me from the back just for a second before we start. When I pull down, you see back there? I make that little V, it's like my shoulder blades go boop into that little V at the back, and that's your goal. Now we're also going to do a squat with this, so we just burn a little more calories, get a little more of a full body workout. Toes out, nice wide stance, shoulders back, arms at the top, my elbows are slightly bent. They're going to stay at this angle the whole time. We're going to squat down and pull. Ready? Go 10, 9, keep your chin up, 8, we're straightening 7, our legs at the top. Yeah, we're straightening, but not locking our knees. 6, I think. 5, <laughs> I might do 11. 4, 3, keep your wrist straight, 2, 1. Okay? Now, we're not going to squat this time. I'm going to bring my feet in a little bit. Similar move, but we're going to do one arm at a time. The arm that is straight is actually also going to work. It's going to work isometrically, which means you don't move through the joint, but the muscle still works, even though it's static. So I'm going to pull this arm down, pull 10, 9, keep your wrist straight, 8, and you're bracing against it with the opposite arm, 6, 5, 4, are you heating up? 3, sparkling, yeah, 2, <laughs> One. Okay, we're gonna switch sides right away. Ten, nine. I'm telling you, my lats heat up right away. Seven, six. Now what I'm doing is five, I'm fighting to keep my wrist out. Four. Yeah, you, you should be fighting to keep your wrist. Three. Keep, keep your wrist straight now. Two. One. All right. Lats. Yeah, your wrist is going to want to bend in, but I don't want you to have that pressure on your wrist. So keep that wrist straight. It's important. Okay, now we're going to move on to mid-back. So we're going from right here on the sides to right in the middle. Okay, right behind the shoulder blades, right there. Also keeps your posture nice. So we're going to, again, hold the band up. You might want to adjust the tension on the band. Let's play with it a little bit. Roll your shoulders back. Elbows slightly bent, staying at the same angle. We'll pull it right across our chest. Ready? Pull. Ten. Squeeze. Nine. Eight. We don't have to do a squat with Seven. this. Seven. You could do a squat with this. Six. Five. You could squat. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay? Mid back. So we've done lat, we've done one arm, we've done mid back. Now we're going to set the band down. No equipment whatsoever. You're not going to believe me until you try this. Turn sideways. My feet are slightly apart, about hip width, I'm going to squat down, all right? Pull my abs in tight. Now, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm sitting my hips back. My weight is in my heels. My abs are in tight. Now, I'm going to take my arms to the front. Get me from the front. Slightly on the B. My thumbs are up, and I pop my thumbs back like I'm hitchhiking. Don't actually hitchhike. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. Okay. Elbows, arms forward slightly. And then you're going to bring your arms straight up, squeezing your shoulder blades. Squeeze down two, like you're making a Y. Four, five, do you see what I mean? Yeah. Six, seven, look at my back. Eight, nine, ten. 
one front shot right here. Just so you see, I'm bending over on purpose. Do not bend over this much. Just so you can see the angle here to here. Squeeze it and down. Great exercise for your back with no equipment whatsoever. Whew, that was good, right? Do it. Work your back three times a week. Huge difference. You will mm -hmm. see a difference right away. Dresses, topless. Yeah, strap, not topless. Strapless. Oh. <laughs> That's a whole different workout. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm Angelique. And I'm Liz. Thanks for coming by. Shred and Sparkle. Don't forget to subscribe. Like us on Facebook. See you next time. <laughs>